Hello everyone, Southern Star 71 here. Going to bring you the LCS Week 7 Day 2 Recap. Before I get started, like and comment on the video and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications so you get notified when a video goes live on the channel. I am a bit recovered from last night, though I'm still a bit tired. I am glad that the games are over and after this video gets made and uploaded, I will go to bed. Tomorrow starts the LEC Spring Split. We will watch those games and do a recap for each day. They play Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And I hope to have a weekly wrap up go live Tuesday. Now to the LCS we go. The first game of the day was Team Liquid at 6 and 8 against Cloud9 11 and 3. I did pick C9 to win this one. Team Liquid did play a lot better on Thursday. If Team Liquid does win this one, they would put themselves clearly in the playoff contention. Also, there's the chance they would be tied for playoff spot with just the Super Week remaining. C9's result will determine if Fly needs to win to keep pace or if a fly win will put them into solo first place. Or five minutes in the game with no kills yet. There's a failed three man from Team Liquid on m &S. The first dragon goes to C9. C9 also get first blood on Berserker, killing Yon. Cloud9 then get the first Herald. Herald in the bot lane gets plates. Cloud9 win the fight 2-1 to one and get their second dragon. Second Herald is also C9's. First brick though goes to TL in the mid lane. Herald mid gets the outer and a charge on the tier 2. Blabber though gets caught. Core dies as does Yon and Pioshik. The top outer is down for C9. Cloud9 gets the third dragon. It will be an ocean soul. C9 is up on towers 4-2. to two. Kills are 6-2. The gold lead is over 4k. The top tier 2 goes down for C9. Summit dies to Fudge. And then again Summit dies. Cloud9 get the Ocean Soul and go for Baron. Then dies to Harry. C9 get 3 kills and are back on Baron. They then get the Baron. All the tier 2's are down now for C9. Fudge kills Korra. Harry dies to Blapper. Bot enter and inhib. Next is turret 1. Next is turret 2. Nexus. C9 is now 2 and 3. TL dropped to 6 and 9. TL will need to 3 0 the Super Week to have a legit chance at the playoffs. If they go 3 0, they'll be 9 and 9. And at worst case, they'll have a uh, playoff game to get into the playoffs. The second game of the day was the Immortals at 3 and 11 against FlyQuest 11 and 3. I did pick FlyQuest to win. Although I did think they would win Thursday game against DL, which they did lose. This game is against Immortals though. And unless FlyQuest is taking a nosedive, they will win this game and stay level with C9. Speaking of dives, it gets a flash. Giving Gang gets nothing. Speaking of then dies. Tactical getting kill credit. Immortals start the dragon and get it. Fight around the arrow goes one to one with no one getting the herald. Immortal kill two as Fly gets the kill on Herald, but no one gets the eye. Ayla dies and Immortal gets the second dragon. Kivi dies, but so does Spika. Second Herald goes to Fly Quest and they put it top. First brick goes to Immortals though. The top outer then goes down for Fly Quest. Tactical dies to Prince and FlyQuest get their first dragon. The FlyQuest think of Baron at the 21 and a half minute mark. Dragon is up in about a minute. FlyQuest is behind in dragons and kills, but they have a goal lead over 2,000. Prince takes their second dragon. Spica dies. Prince dies too. The mid outer down for FlyQuest as they, as they have all the outers down now. There's 34 seconds between the Baron and the dragon. Fight goes 2-1 for Immortals. FlyQuest's macro is so much better than Immortals, 
but the current state of this game is slightly Immortals favored. Top out are down for Immortals, but then Vicklin gets a triple, leading to a FlyQuest ace where they lost Prince and Impact. FlyQuest also get their third dragon. FlyQuest then kill four. Mid tier two goes down. Mid enter and a hip down. Ace. Nexus start one. Nexus start two. Nexus. And Spigat does die. But the game is over at that point. FlyQuest moved to 12 and 3. They have the same record as Cloud9. Immortals drop to 3 and 12. FlyQuest will have to play better if they want first place. Immortals is now officially eliminated from the playoffs. The third game of the day, CLG at 7-7, seven and seven, EG at 9-5. and five. Both teams lost yesterday. I picked EG to win this game. During the broadcast, I found out that EG is going to play remotely the whole team. Also, Ryoma is in for JoJo. But this game is super important for both teams, with both teams losing on Thursday. A loss by CLG put them into a sticky situation as far as playoffs are concerned. A win puts them only one game back from EG and possibly into a tie with GG. If, e if GG were to lose later in the day. EG do get the first blood as the FBI gets kill credit on Luger, but then he dies to Poom. Poom dies to FBI. Oh, but Poom was unable to play the game basically. He got I think with a uh well it was some ult the locked in place then the arrow from Ash. So it was an easy kill for FBI. The first dragon to EG, the first herald goes to CLG. Poom dies again. FBI has all three kills. FBI then gets contracts. The herald, which was CLG's Goes mid for plates. CLG get the dragon, but contracts dies, so they get in the kill. Luger then kills FBI. CLG get the second arrow too, but the first brick and bot is for EG. Top outer down for EG. Arrow mid gets the outer. EG still up 2k gold. 18 minutes in, both mid laners are 0 0 and 0. EG get their second dragon. Ryoma finally gets killed, this time on Dokla. He did chase him down. The mid outer is down for EG for all the outers. CLG get the top outer. Dokla dies to FBI. Five kills on FBI now. Top tier two for EG. Bot outer for CLG. CLG now has all the outers. EG is now on Cloud Soul Point. Poom dies to FBI. EG's on the Baron. They mostly pull off of it and get a kill on contracts. They kill Baron. Roma kills Palafox. The bot tier 2 is down for EG. The bot enter. The next fight however goes 3-2 for CLG. EG then gets 2 kills and the Cloud Soul. The kills are 14-5. Towers are 6-3 and they have the Cloud Soul and a 7,500 gold lead. EG in control. They win a fight 2-1. They take down the mid tier 2. They go on Baron and they get it. They take a base. The top enter and hip go down. Mid enter and a hip down. EG kills 3. They get the bot in hip. Nexus turret 1. Nexus turret 2. Nexus. EG moved to 10 and 5. They are in the playoffs if 100 he loses to take the toss. CSG drops to 7 and 8. They are 0 and 2 this week. They've gone from looking really good to looking shaky for the playoffs. So the fourth game was Dignitas at 2 and 12, 100 Thieves at 6 and 8. I picked 100 T to win this one. Both teams did get a surprise win Thursday. But Dignitas is already eliminated from the playoffs. While 100T are fighting for a spot. Another win for 100T would get them to 7 and 8 and would tie them with COG, who just lost. TSM could also be 7 and 8 if they lose to GG later today. 
This is Bjergsen's 598th LCS game. That's the most by any player. 598. He's also facing Jensen though. In 62 matches, they are 31 and 31. I was thinking we wouldn't have a delay. Then we got one, of course. But this video is being made shortly after 10 o'clock, so the matches went fairly quickly tonight. 100 T finally get the dragon at the 8 minute and 40 second mark, as Daily Toss also get the first herald. Ignar then dies to closer for first blood. Tenacity gets a solo on Armand. Doublelift gets Ignar. Closer gets Tomo. 100 T look good, I wrote. Harold mid, no charge though. 100 T win the fight 2 to 1. Then Bjerg gets 2. Tomo then dies to Bjerg. 100 T get their second dragon, while Dignitas takes the second Harold. First brick and bot lane for 100 T though. The Harold bot for the outer. Charge on Deer 2. Top outer goes for 100 T. Tenacity dies when 100 T don't fight together. The top outer for Dig. The mid outer for 100 T. They get their third dragon. Top tier 2 for Dig. 100 T on the Baron. Closer gets Jensen. 100 T back on the Baron. They get the Baron. Bot tier 2 for 100 T. Mid tier 2 down for 100 T. 100 T then set a trap and get 2 kills. 100 T then get the X Tech Soul. 100 T Ace. They take the top tier 2. The top inner and a hip. Nexus turret 1. Nexus turret 2. Nexus. 100 T move to 7 and 8. Dig drop to 2 and 13. 100 T are now tied with CLG. Could be tied with TSM if TSM loses to GG in the last game of the day. So, the last game of the day, TSM enters at 7 and 7. GG is 8 and 6. Next week is a super week. And I'll do a week 7 wrap up. Hopefully I'll get it out tomorrow early. TSM won Thursday while GG lost. I did predict GG to win. G this game turns out to be super impactful to the playoffs. A TSM win would put both teams at 8 and 7. River starts the game with first blood on solo. The first herald goes to GG. First dragon to TS him. Buki then dies to turtle. Herald top. Buki gets picked. River is now 2 0 0. Buki disappears. That means he got killed quickly. GG evens the dragons at 1 each. Chime then dies to a 3 man. Bot Outer goes down for GT for first brick. Maple dies in a fight around the second Herald, which GT gets and puts mid. River then dies to Turtle. Solo then dies to 6A as the last Outer goes down for GT. Who he dies. GT get their second dragon and they're up 5k gold. Gore then kills Solo. GT go on Baron. They turn and kill Chime. They go back on the Baron and get it. The goal lead is 7.5k. GG then win a fight 3 to 1. They get the bot tier 2. The bot enter and they hit. Goal lead is now over 10,000. Boogie dies to Gory. Top tier 2 down. Top enter down. Solo dies. Maple dies. 6A dies. Top in hip. Next turret 1. Fight went 3 to 1, but GG couldn't finish. Mid laner, mid enter, excuse me. TSM win a fight 2 to 1, but lose the mid in hip. The bot in hip then respawns. GG go on Baron and turn. Ace. Nexus turret 2 and Nexus. Kills were 21 to 7. GG moved to 9 and 6. TSM dropped to 7 and 8 and are tied with CLG and 100T for 5th, 6th, and 7th. So, it looks like I got all 5 games correct today after having a really bad Thursday. Luckily, EG with Ryoma and playing remotely 
were able to handle CLG. There's no news yet if Chicho will be back for the Super Week, but he's young enough, he should be able to recover and return by Wednesday, which would put them also back in the studio. Um, I think that's going to do it for the video. I will upload it and get my old butt in bed. I do thank you for watching. Do thank for all these subs. It's kind of nice to have all these subs. Y'all have a great day. I'll see you later. Goodbye.